Day and night, I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind. I look for peace, but see, I don't attain. What I need for keeps this silly game we play. play. Now look at this madness, the magnet keeps attracting me, me. I try to run, but see, I'm not that fast. I think I'm first, but surely. Oh, 
Silent sleeper, you won't hear a peep. peep. The girl he wants don't seem no one in two. It seems the feelings that she had her through. through. Cause day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. Slows up and creates that new, new He seems alive though he is feeling blue The sun is shining, man he's super cool, cool. The lonely nights They fade away, he slips into his white nights He smokes a clip and then he's on the way To free his mind and search her To free his mind and search her To free his mind and Day and night, I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind I look for peace, but see I don't attain What I need for keeps this silly game we play Now look at this, madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me I try to run, but see I'm not that fast I think the first, but surely finish last, last. Cause day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. At, at, at night. Day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. Mr. Solo Dolo He's on the move, can't seem to shake the shade Within his dreams he sees the life he made Made. The pain is deep A silent sleeper, you won't hear a peep The girl he wants don't seem no one in two It seems the feelings that she had her through
creates that new new He seems alive though he is feeling blue The sun is shining man he's super cool Cool, cool. The lonely nights They fade away he slips into his white nights He smokes a clip and then he's on the way To free his mind and search her To free his mind and search her To free his mind and search her Day and night, I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind I look for peace, but see I don't attain What I need for keeps this silly game we play Now look at this, madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me I try to run, but see I'm not that fast I think the first, but surely Black History Month you know exclusive. I'm out here riding around, working two jobs, trying to make this thing work. You need to be a leader. Stop following books and reading and all this other kind of stuff. Well, meanwhile, little did we know, Gabe's this hating ass dude named Liam started feeling like the pop up didn't belong in his new neighborhood. Pop up? <laughs> nah, I don't like this shit. I've been seeing this, these posters around town. I don't like that shit. I'm gonna have to drop a dime on him. Hey, I'm gonna have to call the police. This, I know you I got a shorty to. at the crib. We be talking about this all the time. The shorty can't eat no books, G. Man, my shorty good. All natural. We good. Off the cuff? We real good. You've been saying that for a while. You sound scared. You scared? You scared? I can drop you off right here, matter of fact. I'm scared. What is street wear? I'm a Patagonia guy myself. What is she wearing? This is Mickey Mouse shirt. This is fucking blouse over it. I don't feel safe anymore. Bringing the streets to West Loop, this damn number, 708. I mean, damn, I don't like this shit. Thanks for calling the pop-up, this is Kevin. I've been, I've been seeing your posters around town. Appreciate the hustle, <laughs> you know, it's really cool, but they gotta go. Sorry to hear that, man. Have you been to the shop before? Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't, um, just the posters are, it's all, they're all over the place, and um, I mean, it's streetwear vibes. I don't, I don't quite understand what it's, what it's about, anyways. But you've been to a sneaker shop before, right? Yeah, I used to be into streetwear, um, you know, a little bit here and there. You know, now I'm more of a Allbirds and Toms guy myself. Okay, man. Listen, well, I think you would really like the shop. It's black-owned business, woman-led. We got a bunch of hard-to-find stuff, community-driven. So I think there's plenty of things you could find here in your price range. You know, I don't don't cancel me. <laughs> you know, 
uh, the, you know, I, I was I was marching this summer. You know, I, I like women are cool, they're great. I'll, how about I just come by and, and see what the shop's about? How about that? Man, we would love to have you stop by. Life is good for me, man. I don't know about no books, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here riding around, working two jobs, trying to make this thing work. You need to be a leader. Stop following books and reading and all this other kind of stuff. Well, meanwhile, little did we know, this hating ass dude named Liam. Life is good for me, man. I don't know about no books, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here riding around. What a beautiful piece. Props, gentlemen. Have you ever heard of <clears throat> a man by the name of Denzel Washington? Yes, I have. Once or twice. Let's just say he went to the school of Daniel Sellers of acting. I would not doubt it a minute. <clears throat> that was a lie. You snapped, dog. I mean, like, can we just get a round of applause Woo! for us? For the whole team, like though. Yeah, we snapped. The whole team. Good job. It was cold as heck yeah. in Chicago. Um, first thing in the morning, Gabe pulled up. Man, that was a very fun thing. Lake Street Dreams. If you haven't already watched it just now, if you're watching this after already, the whole clip is under the pop-up uh, YouTube page in his mm -hmm. own video. But we are back, me We're and back, Kev. Man. Good to see you, man. The pop it's been a couple TV. weeks, G. It is exactly two weeks. Two weeks from right now. Um, but we're here at Pop-Up TV. Yeah, I'm man. your Good host. Good to see you all. Hey, cheers. Good to see y'all. Happy Friday. Happy Thank Friday. You to the team back there. <clears throat> I'm your host, one of your hosts, Danny. You're the host. No, I'm just here. Okay. I'm Kevin. I'm here as well. I'm one of the co-hosts. And we got Gabe behind the camera. And we got a special guest behind the camera as well, Malik Al-Hassan, one of the goats from us that's goats. been, you know, creating content from us on the back end. So, man, I'm just excited to be here. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been waiting for this moment for the past couple of weeks. My like, whole life. For the past two weeks, <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this, just like to hang out with y'all, you know what I'm saying, to talk shoes, talk stuff, yeah, and to make it work. And actually, what's most important is the is the audience, the fans. Oh, yeah. Showing up. We appreciate y'all. Look, yeah. this is a kickback of friends and cousins and former coworkers. So if you haven't already, comment, say what's up, let us know you're there. Also, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. We're going to be putting all kind of dope content. Yeah. Forever on there. Also follow us individually, me at follow mm -hmm. sellers. Follow the popup.com on yep. Instagram as well. Like and subscribe. This is a great, beautiful shop here in the West Loop of Chicago. We're here. Um, right next to the Hoxton. Um let's get into today. Let's get into it. We got so much cold shit today, man. I'm hyped today. Today's gonna be our best show. There's never been an episode. There's only been three of these that mm -hmm. we haven't had great shit, but I'm excited today. Very excited. Let's go. Yeah, so first thing clean today. First. Oh. We already talked about that. Welcome, everybody. The next What's thing, up, let's yeah. talk about the sale. The sale. Yeah. Great. I'll hop right into that. So today, for all the viewers who have tapped in, we're selling blazers, Nike blazers, um, at a discount. So if you tap the link in the chat, you can have a direct link to the blazers sale. Uh, they're 15% off. So what we do is we sell our blazers for $77 which is the price, uh, I'm sorry, which is the year that the Nike Blazer came out, 1977. MSRP, also known as retail price is $100, so you're already getting 30, $33 off, and we're going to give you an additional 15% off of that. So if you tap the link in bio today, right now, or the link in the chat, you can get direct access to a bunch of Blazers, and we're going to talk about a few of those today. Yes, so, sir. Is uh, the link is like is good. Uh, for me. Is the link in the chat? Can you put the link in the chat? I can do that. And while we do that, put the link in the chat. I can describe what we're what we're wearing today mm -hmm. too. Let's do it. You look very comfortable, but Thanks, I'll start. Man. I got the AC. I'm an ACG boy. If, I, if my, one of my goals in life is to be sponsored by a Nike ACG, like put me on a nice cover of GQ or REI or whatever it is. But ACG living in Chicago, you gotta have boots or shoes that are that can stand a test it's been snowing for two weeks in chicago two weeks straight pr pr practically every day except two these are the i think these are angel rests got these on sneakers a couple of years ago a couple great. years old i mean i've legitimately hiked in yosemite with these joints and um i just like i like function and also style with, with shoes um and I got the little North Face boys. You look great, Danny. Thank you. See, thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Also, later topic we're talking about later today. 
It's a little, you know, J. Cole, J. Let's Cole, KOD. Go, dog. Concert T. You know what I'm is, saying? Is he underrated? Oh, or is that a separate topic? Legitimately, we will be here for 14 hours if you get me talking about J. Cole. I think he's cold, dog. We'll be here for 45 days. He's not the coldest. Oh, yeah, he's cold, though. He's up there. Elite. Anyways, before I get upset and yeah. ruin this whole show, okay. what are you wearing? Man, I'm wearing Tom Sachs uh, overshoe. You know what I'm saying? I got the uh, wear test Johns. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. I got some. Huh? Fire. What'd you say? You can't. The camera can't yeah. see? I got the Need help me, dog? Tom Sachs, you know what I'm saying? Overshoe. I've been wearing these every day the entire month of February. I've also got uh, Nanamic. I got North Face head to toe. Mm. I got uh, Nanamica, which is North Face blue label uh, on the top. North Face uh, Japanese edition underneath. North Face t-shirt. North Face trousers. North Face socks. And Nike shoes. So I'm, I'm, I'm on brand. Fresh as hell. We didn't plan that. That's crazy. But I guess in Chicago, you have to dress a certain way or else right. you can't walk outside. You can't. Or else you'd be caught slipping. The hawk will get you, as they say. <laughs> right, yeah. Let's talk about these uh, pictures that I got from Danny. Danny pulled up with some blazer oh, yeah. photos. Let's go. I love this. is my favorite part about the show mm-hmm. every single week is looking up old pictures of the shit we're talking about. Yeah. And I don't. Do you know who that is on the left? Iceman. Irvin. What's his first name? George. Irvin? George yeah. Gervin. The Iceman. I said it, Irvin. It's okay. You were close. Close enough, I guess. Yeah. George Gervin, the Iceman, he was actually the person that did the finger rolls. You know, he was sponsored by Nike. Spurs, right? <clears throat> yeah. Spurs. He's not watching right now, but when he watches this later, my homeboy yeah. Joe Privet actually has a player exclusive from George Gervin, which means a worn pair signed on the back instead of saying Nike. It says Iceman. Shout out to Joe. But the Nike Blazer, again, why the shoe is important. It's one of the first basketball shoes that Nike delved into. You know, okay. they started as, like, a, a running shoe company. Right. And then in 77, uh, during the CBA, mm. or the ABA, I'm sorry, ABA, mm-hmm. uh, George Gervin was one of their athletes that they they had, and he was the Iceman. He wore the Blazers. And then from there, you know, it became just, like, an iconic shoe. You know, now it's more of, like, a skate shoe, right. more of a, a lifestyle shoe. But one of the ones I wanted to showcase today, which is a very special, very exclusive shoe, I'll let you hold it, Danny. It's the Naomi Osaka uh, Nike Blazer. This particular shoe, um, I don't know if y'all know about Naomi Osaka. She's a beast. She's a tennis player, one of the best in the world, if not the best. Um, sh- and she has Japanese heritage. So they did a collaboration with her uh, because she took a stand in 2020 on human rights as it relates to like the Black Lives Matter movement. So Ray Kawakabo from CDG, Comme des Garçons, highlighted her as one of the people of the year and gave her her own shoe. So this particular shoe <clears throat> is true to its form. 1977 Nike Blazer um, has the suede toe cap, but it also has cool, um, you know, signature from Naomi Osaka on the side. And yeah, that's a, that's only sold at Dover Street Market. We happen to have a few pair here at the pop up. So yeah, exclusive fire, 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 fire. Once you again, can cop the pop up. You can cop it the bio in the link. Pot, look, this is a fantastic place to shop. Always cool, exclusive stuff and stories behind the stuff. Yeah. Shout out to the pop up, appreciate um, the you. physical store here in Chicago. If you listen to this um, or watch this, I'm sorry, this show a couple of days from now, pull up on us here in the mm-hmm. West Loop. <coughs> we'll be uh, here in Chicago, right next to the Hoxton in West Loop, right let's off go. the Morgan line. Yeah, let's let's skip into. Uh, <coughs> you know what grinds my gears? What grinds your gears, Gabe? I'm sorry, but real quick, before Alex Webb said. Um, Danny and I are going to box over this J. Cole take. And, sir, you're one of my great friends, but I am dis- I feel disrespected. Does J. Alex not like J. Cole? I don't think he does, and you know what? I'm offended. <laughs> he, But he's he's from Indiana, right? He's from Wisconsin. He's from Wisconsin. He went, went to Indiana. school in Indiana. Right. Is he capable of assessing? <laughs> oh, God. I didn't say all that, but you know what? I'm disappointed in you. J. Cole's a I'm great man. with you, Alex. We love you, man. Um, I'm just no, giving you Alex shit, Webb. Bro. Alex Webb is the reason we're, we're both are doing this That's show. That's right. We're together. Um, shout out to homies and friends and cousins. But I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, grind our gears. This damn mm. snow is grinding my gears. Same. Bruh. It's bad. My dog hasn't seen outside in weeks. He's... Str- I don't do... There's nothing... Look at this snow, Look, bro. Yeah. I mean, is that... This feels like how Chicago is right now. <clears throat> I mean, I, I'm... 200% real, like, that looks like my street. 
<laughs> because, like, you know, where I live, you know, they don't plow all the streets and right, people don't yeah. shovel they out. Never, yeah, if you don't live on a main street, you don't, yeah. So if you live on a one-way street, as I do, and Amazon or UPS or FedEx is making a delivery, you got to wait. Bro, Amazon. Because you can't pass them. Amazon dudes be fighting for their life. I, them, little big, them big trucks, and it's snowing. It, I feel bad. I'm My gears are grinding. Somebody yep. come in? Somebody it looks like somebody's oh. trying to shop. Um. <laughs> uh, hopefully, uh, Gabe has protection and is protecting all of us. Thank you. But no, but uh, <laughs> seriously, though, uh, I'm tired of the snow. I'm tired of trying to drive. If you I didn't have what? a Jeep. I have a hot take. Okay. I'm not mad at the snow. Sir, that is an extremely hot take. I'm, I have a it's horrible a cold attitude. take. I'm not mad at the snow because I get to wear layers. I get to wear cold weather. I get to wear Gore-Tex. I get to wear waterproof. Okay. And, like, take the stuff out of my closet that's, like, keeping me warm. This isn't even, but this isn't cold. This <laughs> is like dangerous. Danny, cold is like thirty. It's oh, in it's, the teens. Yeah, it's right. Cold. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, but this is dangerous. Like, okay, if it's thirty-five, I can get a fit off. Now I'm, I'm just trying to survive. I'm a black man in America trying to survive and not get frostbite. <laughs> but you and I'm ashy. Do you have an apartment? And yeah, and it didn't. Okay, have so how are you fighting the cold? <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, see, yeah. see, my heat went out this week, and I've, oh, wow. I've had the worst week in attitude. That's oh. let's not let's. What's the next topic? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's <laughs> let's switch gears because that's All what's right. really grinding Dan, Danny's gears. We're yeah. going into uh, we're going into Super Bowl. We're talking about. But hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. All right, what's up? I want to talk about something that made me mad this week. <clears throat> so I think a lot of our viewers, everyone in this room, was really trying to get those trophy room Air Jordan ones, right? Yeah. And we I know didn't even sorry nothing to interrupt you, but I didn't even try because I knew it was going to be impossible. You knew it was a, you knew it was burnt. No, I mean, look, I knew it was messed up because earlier in the week, uh, mm. they had like a backdoor picture. So this this gentleman that y'all can see online, this particular this kid, it looks like he has do- dozens more than that, bro. Dozens of the trophy room Jordan ones. Tens now, of dozens. now here's the thing, for the casual viewer, they're like, oh, he came up, but for me. I was salty. I'm going to tell you why. Because that shoe was only released at one store. The store was released at is owned by who? Michael Jordan's son. Right. So that means Michael Jordan's son had access to the Jordan shoes and then was selling them out the back door for a different price than what he was getting them for. Right. We all know Michael Jordan's a billionaire. So why does his son need to resell his own product that was only sold at his store so that us, a person that's going to resell it anyway, me, couldn't even get access to it. Right. I'm mad at that. Or not even a regular person that just wants to try it's their just, luck. It's just principle, bro. Or try their luck. Right. It's I, just principle. It's a, it's a key example mm-hmm. of the culture of copping stuff that it frust- it frustrates me. It's hard to get things yeah. when you used to be able to walk in the store maybe or even potentially camp out and and get have at least have a decent chance. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's crazy that people like myself, um, who I like thought about it. I'm like, I'm like, what's the point of even trying? And no. um, and to the point, and when you, it's one thing when a regular shop does it, yeah. But it's a whole other thing, like you say, when a, a heir to a, some billions of dollars gets. I mean, these shoes that are on the screen that y'all can see, those are Jordan ones. So the person that the shoes are named after, his <laughs> his <laughs> oldest son. Took those from Nike and then sold them for more than MSRP. Right, right. So right, we didn't have access to right. it. To me, and this one dude, that's trash. Earlier today, <laughs> I counted how many I saw. It was like hun- a few hundred. I mean, it's ridiculous. In that one picture, it's ridiculous. So it was and something I, that really bothered. How I'm do you feel about that, Gabe? I don't like it. Also, the picture just didn't seem real. If it's real, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's, it it's looks like very real. Colors are just the kid. I can't remember his name, but he's he like a sneaker plug on like. His, it's he's been, known. it's yeah. been, you know, good for him. He does. He's a hustler. I'm not mad at the hustle. I'm just saying, though. Right. If the only place that's getting them is Trophy Room, and that's owned by Michael Jordan's son, right, right, right it should right. be a legit release. IMO. I agree that you yeah. can never count people's pockets if they can make money. Mm-hmm. But to your point, if it's the kids, if the if it's the guy's son, it's him who doesn't who doesn't need the money. He's a billionaire, bro. It's tough to get you shoes, know? but um, I'm also a hater. This is also I'm a big hater. A PSA, right 
for all the haters out there, as you saw with Lake Street Dreams, I'm top. I'm probably top five haters in Chicago right now. <laughs> if you want to debate, look at this. On me, hold on, hold on, look at this. <laughs> oh, not the. So with not this, the. like, I'm not mad at Tom Brady at all. I'm like, this is not grinding my gears at all. But this is a great segue into like the Super Bowl happened last Sunday. I mean, <clears throat> I don't even think that there has been footage ever of anyone throwing no. any championship trophy. Stanley Cup, right? The NBA trophy, the finals trophy, Major League Baseball trophy, Super Bowl. I mean, he threw it. Could what you is that, 20 feet? <laughs> could you imagine being the guy that has to catch it? You're smacked. You're also smacked. Smacked. On the, and, like, you got to transition the or think about the, the space in which you're moving. Mm-hmm. The, the, the trophy is right. a silver mirror yeah. pretty much coming at you. Mm-hmm. You're already lit, and it's wet, too. Right. Bro, I would have dropped the hell out that damn. That Super Bowl would have been all over the Atlantic Ocean if it was me. You know what though? I mean, he has seven championships, right? Yeah. What is what is one less? What is one? What is one drop into the Atlantic Ocean? You knew it wasn't gonna happen. I like Bruce Arians. Like the whole after the parade, you mm-hmm. see like Bruce Arians. I like old like white guys who like in theory should be racist or are super cool. Yeah. Those like my favorite kind of old, like old white OGs that just only drink like $2 beers right. and like smoke cigarettes and yeah. shit. Bruce Aaron seems like a perfect, perfect coach. What's up with the Super Bowl, uh, the performance, halftime? Wait a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? This made me really mad. This made me like, I, I was, I would have never thought this would happen. Someone he, get a diamond he, implant in their forehead. Right. If he takes if he takes his hoodie off a little too fast, I might get caught. He's it. he's ruined. Could you imagine the amount of holes in the pillows he has? It's like wakes up, it's cotton in his mouth, and it's like, bro, what's? You know, I don't know. How when do I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna be honest. I wake up in the morning, you know, I use the bathroom, brush my teeth, I look in the mirror, like how am I gonna get after this day? If I had a diamond in my forehead. It might give me a little bit more juice. Like, you know what? I got a $24 million diamond in my forehead. Just head you people. Like, you, he looks like you a know? fucking, sorry. He looks like a Pokemon. I didn't mean to cuss. You know what? He does look <laughs> like a Pokemon. And it dangles, too. It, like, moves. Ugh. <laughs> that's gross. How do you wash your face, bro? That's disgusting. Yeah, that's bad. No. But, you know, it's Vert. He has some bangers. Like, Vert is cold to no, me. No, I, I, I respect the guy. And I, you know, I hope the best, but like his music, crazy. you can't hate on. Oh, bro, Vert, Lil Uzi Vert. Vert, that is the kind of music that I would. If the clubs are open tonight, yeah, we're banging. I need, Vert. I need a twenty-minute vert set. Twenty-five thousand-minute vert set. Let me move my shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he has bangers, dog. Mm-hmm. You know, some tight-ass jeans. Let's talk about Supreme and the Ninja Turtles coming. Oh, uh. so uh, what does that I'm mean? older. And I grew up with the OG Turtles. And anything Ninja Turtles I like, right? Kevin Laird, the original comic book designer of the Ninja Turtles, I think is fresh. So the OG like drawing I like. I don't think that this collaboration is going to have the OG artwork. So it's going to be like the new modern artwork, which for me is a little bit of a miss uh, for old head. But that's just me being old head and being complaining. But I think it's cool. Like, I mean, Ninja Tur- if they make action figures, I will 100% have to have it. I understand where you're coming from, and yeah. I respect your your decision. Yep, this is the therapy, Danny. Yeah, but um, I don't like any of these. I don't think I've liked any of these brands that do like the cartoon crossover, like the like the Gucci did, um, Mickey, like um, Disney. Yep, that was hideous. Kith, Kith did uh, Rugrats. That was trash. Yeah, that, that was terrible. I, they should never have done that. I just don't. I don't think I've seen one that I've liked yet. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I'm not. When I saw this, I'm like. Uh, in theory, to you, like, like how you explain what it. What about it when makes, Cause did Peanuts, the Snoopy joint? I don't remember. Or what when it Cause did like. Sesame Street. I wasn't in love with that one either. I mean, I didn't go out and buy it, but. I, wasn't in love with it. I remember the Sesame, Sesame Street one. I wasn't in love with it. I just think that they're two separate things that, mm. like, they don't have enough legitimate synergies as, like, you know, you're a sneaker brand and a cartoon. Mm-hmm. And. I just don't think that they have enough synergies to like really make sense. But a lot of the collectors of sneakers grew up in the time in which they were coming yeah. out. So there is an affinity for those things. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Two thousand, I, 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 yo, 2000% right. I just, they just, I don't, 
I don't want to buy them together. I'm not buying a sh- <laughs> it, it, Okay, here's the thing. Here's my here's my take. Here's my take. Uh, wait, Alexander Webb says, who has better hands, Danny or Kevin? Hard pause, but as receiver, I catch, you know, I don't know, man. I mean, like, what do you want to, how are we going to compete? I mean, let me tell you something. As a receiver. Right, Mal, I had, just throw, throw shit at him. What? Um, just throw shit throw at stuff him. At, <laughs> I, I probably had one of the worst. Um, pair of hands in all Division One football mm. from 2011 to 2014. Did you play defense? No, I played receiver. That's why I'm wow. here. That's why I'm here, and not wow. <laughs> respect. I'm six three. That's why I'm here, and not <laughs> somewhere else. Cut the tape. Cut the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a hard moment. But six three of great body type. <laughs> going back to the turtles, though. If they made, great if, work they, if they made an action figure, <laughs> I will 100 percent have it. Yeah. Right. No. 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 I, your point they're mm-hmm. they're same in the period in which people that you know like saturday morning cartoons and that mm-hmm. kind of stuff mm-hmm. people that grew up during those times have the money to buy mm. the you know these collabs but i just don't think th- those two things should be um always brought together, together. yeah, yeah. It's in my that. opinion i'm okay with that alex says he may or may not have <clears throat> five plus shirts of both cause and the unique little collabs but i'm also a sn- uh, massive snoopy fan I'm a Snoopy fan too, bro. You know, I like peanuts. I like Charlie Brown. You know, but and I'm not wearing a Charlie Brown T-shirt. And and I think that those though that specific collab is a lot less of a risk than me buying a two thousand dollar bag with Mickey Mouse all over it. And Fair Gucci. point. Fair point. I'll take th- that collab wasn't bad. Like I, I considered buying it, but I didn't. But that collab specifically with this with the cause joint, it's like okay, if I'm what I don't remember how much it went for, but mm-hmm. probably less than a hundred. That's that's a lot less of a like I have to love it mm-hmm. versus a statement piece that's gonna call me three bands. Right. No, thank you. The thing I don't know the thing with like these toy or like cartoon collabs as a parent of two kids is it's kind of like I can put my kids on in a way. So like if yeah. I get a cause, you know, Sesame yeah. Street toy or a Peanuts toy or whatever, or this Supreme Ninja Turtles, and you know they had the Supreme Chucky, you know, that uh, came out last season. You know, I tried to copy for my my oldest son, and it didn't. You know, I didn't get the doll, but it would be fine to like, you know, give that yeah. to my kid just so I can like impart something onto them from my childhood. I guess. Hundred percent. I think collabs sometimes are done really well, mm-hmm. but for me personally, I could I could do without. I could pass. But yeah. what's what else is uh oh the uh, us? Let's talk about the sale again. Yes. So today, for the fans, for people tuning in, we're selling blazers today. Um, we have blazers for sale every day, but tonight we're doing them for 15% off. Uh, so this is a steal, right? We're se- like, so it's 15% off 77. What is that? $68, $67, I think, um, that you can get these for retail price. MSRP is a hundred. So you're getting them for several, you're getting them for like significantly cheaper. So if you happen to be in the chat, you happen to want a pair of sneakers, you happen to want some blazers, um, feel free to tap in, you know, knock it off. 20%, I guess, is the discount. So feel free. A classic, another classic. We've been fortunate for our first three episodes mm-hmm. to only deal with very classic dope silhouettes right. that I think are great additions to your to your wardrobe. You yeah. can't go wrong with Forces, Air Maxes, or, or Blazers. You can't. Those are staples. Everyone should have them. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what else? Do you want to uh, talk about... Wear testers? Wear testers. Oh, so, yeah, I'm no, really hype off this. I'm really hype yeah. off this, all right? So what you can see on the screen here are the Tom Sachs 2.5s. Uh, it's the f- third Tom Sachs shoe that we'll be releasing. Uh, so they had the 1.0, which is the original, the 2.0, which is an updated material of the 1.0. Mm-hmm. Then you have the overshoe, which I'm wearing today, and then you have these, which, which are the 2.5s. These are steel toe shoes. So what's happening right now is Tom Sachs did his competition in December where he asked folks to, you know, kind of like submit content to be able to get free shoes. And then your intent is to wear the shoes into the ground, right? So wear them, run in them, work out in them, walk in snow with them, beat them up, and then provide feedback to them so they can make the shoe better. Um, a lot of times in this culture... When I say this culture, I mean like people that collect sneakers or are nerds about shoes and stuff like that. We want to hold them. We want to keep them pristine. We yeah. want to keep them in their box. Right. Keep them in our closet. Um, but, you know, the intent of wearing an overshoe, a Tom Sachs shoe, is to like beat it up. You know, you want to wear it till its completion, which I think is super cool um, in and of itself. So 
the wear tester program, right? Uh, I'm not 100% participating in it, but I'm wearing these shoes every single day for at least the month of February. Um, but it's providing feedback, tapping into the wear tester program, tapping into Tom Sachs. They have meditation every morning. They, you can provide notes. They have uh, challenges that you can do. It's all just to see, like, the capability of the shoe. Because, again, like, to take it back to the beginning, we get all these cool shoes. We get all these, like, Nike or Adidas or New Balance. They put so much tech into mm-hmm. shoes. And because we collect them, we never t- stretch the capability right. of the shoe. Yeah. So the intent of this wear tester program is simply to, hey, wear the shoe, beat it up, try to tear it apart, and then provide us the feedback so we can make a better s- make a better sneaker. It's a great idea. and It's another reason and fortunate uh, solution or mm-hmm. whatever outcome from sneakers and shit that we deal with. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's not only is it just a piece of material, but right. also we get to have an experience with yeah. it. And I think it's nice with Corona that like people can tap in and <coughs> and interact with a hashtag or with a legitimate company about a product. So that's, I think it's cool. I, I think it's uh it's nice to also that you feel like a company is trying to make something that's uh that can stand the test of time. It's quality. It yeah. Can fucking absolutely go stuff. Because in Chicago, you legitimately need shoes that can stand the test of time, or right. else you're SOL for basic stuff. Getting the news. I mean, getting the goodness. Getting the uh the mail. Going to get some snacks. <coughs> those kind of things. But yeah. Shout out to Tom Sachs. Shout out to Tom Sachs. To this high school starter pack that we got. Ooh, Kevin. Okay, Ooh. let me talk this about Kev's this. High school starter pack. So, so for the viewers, I'm pack. really excited about this to talk about this because a lot of my viewers may not understand what this is. Uh, so we were talking about in the in the the prep for this show, like yeah. you know, there's this trending meme right now, like high school starter pack. You know, where were you wearing a high school? Were you listening to? So what you saw on the screen was an example of what I was wearing, right? So like, if you could bring it back up, Gabe. It was truly just like uh, if you met me in the late 90s, Kevin Woods, you would see me wearing bottom left a FUBU hat. Fubu, 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 top, FUBU down. FUBU do-rag. FUBU, FUBU t-shirt. FUBU hat. I remember the 05, the O whatever. No, no, no. I'm talking about 90s. Like yeah. LL Cool J era FUBU. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, OG yeah, FUBU. Yeah. So that was me. Uh, I was listening to Ghetto Dope Master P. You know what I'm saying? What was that? 1997. Oh. Uh, that's what I was listening to. Absolutely, the orange, the orange CD. Uh, I had PlayStation One. You know what I'm saying? I was playing uh, Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, you know what I'm Final, saying? I haven't heard the name. I, <laughs> I still heard got it. I still got Final it. Final Fantasy. In I got it. A decade. No, I still got it. Final. Damn. I got the OG. You know, it's a three disc set. I still got it. Uh, and then I think the bottom right of that grid was the. So again, for the for the viewers, y'all may not understand this, but. Imagine a time where you would have to connect your device to your car audio tangibly, not not digitally, right. but tangibly. You had to physically connect it. So what I had here was I had a, the RCA joint where it would put the tape into my tape deck into my 1999 Mercury Cougar, which Ooh. I had. So we had them in the same car mm-hmm. at that point. Yeah. That's crazy. And then I had a disc man with the no skip joint. So that was me in high school. That was an example of me. So my your high school starter pack almost bleeds into my high school starter pack because I also I had a two thousand Ford Taurus, which is pretty much the same. Yeah, it's car. The same shit. Yeah, and um, I had the little the little cassette with the joint. Yeah, and we were talking about before before the show started. Sperry's though. <laughs> wow. Before the show started, that uh, day and night by fucking Kid Cudi came out. When I tell you that was the slapper and my my little. Weak ass speakers were fighting for the life because I had it all, all the way up. Why wouldn't you, Bruh, I thought I was cold. The you coldest. were. You didn't think you were. But so the, my starter pack, the Cincinnati hat, because I, I did part of my high school in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. So my thing is, ninety nine percent of the time, I'm a hat. If I'm wear a hat, that's a team. I'm wear Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. So motherfuckers know where I'm from. Mm-hmm. Um, then the Sperry's, I was. I'm not one of those people that act like I was only a, a sneakerhead, sneakerhead, sneakerhead for my whole life. I was rocking Sperry's for a good couple of summers, dog. Down in Florida, ankles was out. Ankles and sometimes was out. Ankles weren't out. Sometimes I was rocking socks. Did you have Sperry's. baby? Sh- did you have baby powder on your joints, or did I, you, or you just raw dog it? I think I was raw. I was just like wow. raw ankles. Yeah, oh, raw wow. ankles. Lim- wow. Limited lotion, just getting it in. Limited lotion. Yeah, but it was love humi- it. it was humidity. It's down in Florida. It's, it's yeah, humid. I love it, man. You know what I'm saying? Getting it in. Ankles raw. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? 
out the mud. Like, all right, I got my short shorts <laughs> on. Okay, what else you had? Um, it's gotten very sh- uh, graphic. Yeah, yeah it right. is very graphic, <laughs> very descriptive. Because it's legitimately, yeah. or it was my life. Then I had the uh, the the Jordan. So, I, so my probably my first pair of like sneakers that I really, 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 really were like, oh my god, I'm so appreciative of, and knew that it took my mom a lot to get. There were um, some Jordan three black, all black, black cats. Mm-hmm. So super hard. Two thousand five. Yeah, yeah, it was two thousand six. I'll never forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was it was around that time. Yep. Nike talk days. And um, my mom got me the the shorts to match. I still have the shorts, the elephant print shorts, mm-hmm. Bruh. You thought you had it when I tell you when I had them joints on. Yeah, the street. I wish I still had them shoes. Those and so I had the shorts, and I mean in high school in general, I was always rocking gym shorts. Yeah, um, just meat swing. Sorry, see, cut the tape. <laughs> You're wild. Beep. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was I, I beeped you, bro. So you good? I'm sorry, but no. Then, then, then I had the, then I had the polo shirt. Yeah. Polo, polo. At that point, too, polo was like, my, <laughs> sorry, in Florida, dude. especially. Sorry, you dude. were in Broward County. <laughs> no, I was in uh, Duval. Well, Duval. No, I'm sorry, adjacent to Duval, St. John's, which okay. is like right. You under were Duval. up there. You were north of Dade. Yeah, yeah. I'm north. Okay. I'm tip, very tip top of Florida. So, so, wait, like near Georgia? Yeah. Okay. Regardless, you know what I'm saying. Regardless. Florida people love polo. Trick Daddy talked about it. I don't, I don't know where I got my. It may it might have been. I mean, I was down there, so I, it might have been because like I was in Florida. Mm-hmm. But high school going into college, it was polo down. So okay, polo. I would get a little Pell Grant from college. Yeah, get a little couple bands for the semester. Yep. we would. We would. You did your thing. We would pull up to this outlet mall in in Mebane, North Carolina. Okay. And you would have thought we were like drug dealers. Yeah, we would have spend like four five hundred dollars in a random like Tanger Tanger Outlet Mall. Oh, and Tanger. go Come stupid. On, you went hard in Tangers, like stupid. Like yeah. let me get that. Like, I'm gonna need like yeah. Let you know me get that robe. And it'll be like four or five of us. So we legitimately look like the Wu Tang Clan pulling up. Like yeah, I'm gonna need uh two of those and a me- extra medium. And I'm gonna need one more of those and a um extra short. And some Sperry's, too. Like, bro, we was in there turning up, bro. So, shout out to Pell Grants. Shout out to the government. Shout out to <coughs> Polo. Shout out to high school. High shout school out, yeah. For the audience, drop your uh, drop your high school starter pack. Yeah, if in the audience you had a high school starter pack, what would it be? What would it be? I'm, in, I'm interested to see what, what the chat is talking about. This was my starter pack. I believe, <coughs> based on the information was provided, I might have been the freshest out of here. Ooh, Ooh, the zoom. I don't know about the zoom. Okay, <laughs> it, uh, okay, the hear zoom me out. Hold, 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 hold. Let me let me take a hot take. Everything on the west part of this grid is fire. After the hundred, the hundreds hat was it a snapback or a fitted? Fitted. Okay. Oh. Okay. What seven and one eighth? Boy, I was probably rocking a six. Oh, oh, no, he he a, a oh skinny like head ass. Seven, okay, seven. okay. He had a seven hat, which is fire. <laughs> he had the Newcastle Dunks, then the which top. we have in the shop. Yeah, right, which yeah. which which I think if you would have held on to Gabe, those are those are over a thousand dollars shoes. By the way, yeah. let me go find them. The you top. had the you had the Jan Sport. That's a gang violence but book bag. You couldn't you couldn't pull See the through. you couldn't pull the <laughs> Apple joint. Like you had to get the Zune. Dog. So Zune it had just came out, and I was like, I thought I was a tech guy. So you so thought I was you like, were, yeah. You know, let's go ahead and go with the Zune. Actually, matter of fact, someone stole my iPod at school. Damn. So I had to get out of my own pocket. You, you know? thought you were Steve Jobs with the Zuni. Look, you know, you caught the uh, the top right uh, quadrant. If you go back to that picture, you'll see the uh, see through book bag. You know, you've been through some shit. You gotta have rock the see through book bag. <laughs> you that's know what? Gang I, violence. And you that's know. going up. Uh, it's going. To, that's going to public school a little rock. <laughs> right, but right. what I'm saying though, you have to I'm have a though, clear backpack. You have to. But what I'm saying though is, damn, if Arkansas, you need a clear backpack. Banging a little rock, baby. Damn. Little rock. Little Rock Wow. 10. But not, nah, but to be real, I uh, 200% Gabe won. You had the coldest shoes. Yeah, he did. You had the coldest hat. You had a colder hat than my FUBU joint. Yeah, that was cold. 100%. Props, Gabe. Respect. You caught the wave at the right time. Appreciate you dressing. That. Except uh, for the Zoom. You the guys Zoom. are doing way better than me these days, so. <laughs> the uh, Zoom. I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's, We talking about rapper merch next, right? Topic of the yes, day. Sir. or The topic of the, of the day. So this is going to be real fun for the folks in the chat. We had a conversation, and, and uh, before we did this show tonight, we were preparing all week, and we had this, like, uh, chat around, like, just the difference between 
uh, like musician merch, rapper merch from 20 years ago and rapper merch today, right? Did we call it merch back in the, those days? We didn't. We just said the thing. Like right. it was kind of, it wasn't, merch wasn't like right. a, a, a word. It was right. more like, you know, this is what rappers were wearing at the time. So we, we what we did for y'all is we pulled together a couple of examples of comparable rapper merch. What do we got, Gabe? First, we got Jeezy and verses. I guess we want to do a verses. So yeah, uh, like Ooh. Travis Scott. I mean, let's let's stop on this for a second. Let's stop on this for a second. No so man. Thug Motivation One Hundred and One to me is one of the best rap albums of my lifetime. Oh yeah, easy. So when Jeezy had this Snowman T, wow. The Snowman T. Talk about it. Dan. So let me tell you something. I moved to Jacksonville, Florida. Yep. It's a little bit south, but Jacksonville, Florida. Yep. Um, in, from sixth grade to middle school. Yep. So sixth grade and middle school is already like important years. Yeah. You, know, you go. You you leave that 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 spring mm-hmm. from sixth grade. And through mm-hmm. those three months, kids get beards and, you know, underarm right. hair and, like, muscles out of nowhere. So, so right. I not only did that, but also moved down south, you know, a whole, whole other part Different of, the, place, of yeah. the country. And so I remember, like, going from sixth grade into middle school and seeing kids, like, with tall tees. And, and, and the thing back then was, uh, like, mid top filas in, in, in Jacksonville at the time and Dickies. Terrible. They would have these, these violent... <laughs> snowman t-shirts and i remember at a point they uh they banned the t-shirts the yeah, snowman t-shirts as they should have been banned because it's a drug dealer t-shirt <laughs> but no we didn't know <laughs> i mean some people didn't know you knew. I, I mean yeah we you knew but it was just like a, it was a hard that t-shirt was, it was hard as fuck dog i right. wish i still i would i would wear that right now <laughs> if, dog. You, if you put those on sale right now i'll I'm, wear it i've never sold it so comparing, one drug. That, comparing comparing the gzt to the travis scott t I'm 200% taking the Jeezy T to the max. Like, I mean, this should still be available. <laughs> like, it's, like it's just still, it should still be a thing. You know, I'm not saying I'm like selling drugs or like doing blow, but I'm saying like, if I look at the Jeezy merch versus the Travis merch, 11 times out of 10, I'm picking the Jeezy snowman over the Travis Scott McDonald's shit. It was a moment. Yeah. No, it was a, it was a, it was a movement. Yeah, and I think however many of these examples we go down, I think the important thing about the merch, what makes merch yeah. really hit, mm-hmm. is if it brings you to a moment in time. Like that's a it's a a time stamp okay. of a moment in time that okay. like makes you want to like be a part. Like, you know, you go to a good tour merch. It's like mm-hmm. I want people to know that I was here at yep. that time at this venue. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or I was listening to this music at that time. Right. Originally. And you were in high school, right? When this came out, or middle school. Uh, middle school. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Okay. So eighth grade, ninth grade. So you were getting bricks of cocaine at seventeen five, and <laughs> right. right. What's next, Gabe? Exactly. What's next? So <laughs> as soon as I get this going, okay. we're gonna have the uh, let's do uh, mm. what about baby G unit. Mm. Who we got? Oh, I can't wait. Carter I know we versus the Yeezys. Okay. So for me, oh my, these are so ugly. Like for me, dog, like. This is not even a comparison. So two things. One, I think that we're talking about three different things here, right? Top left, you got G-Unit. Bottom left, you got uh, Jay-Z. Right side, you got Kanye. Original Nike shoes, right? Yeah. So with that being said, I think 11 times out of 10, I'm picking the Con- the, the easy ones, the Nike easy ones over all of this. Right. But what I would say is, at the time, G-Unit was Ooh. a movement. <sighs> Now, Ooh. if G-Unit at the time would have taken a Nike deal, where would we be right now? We would be wearing G-Unit Nikes. How important is it, do you think, that the it's a check over whomever? I mean, the, I think the check validates everything. But what I'm saying is in that particular example, you had three different like groups there. Like, yeah. S.Dot Carters were fresh. G-Units were fresh. I remember working at Finish Line when they came out. But nothing really fucked those easy ones, bro. Yeah. I, I'll never forget them. So it's interesting that the last – thing that we showed mm-hmm. it was like the old school versus the new school or like yeah. where merch has gone yeah uh-huh. and in that case the old merch won but yep. in this case this was i a, mean a, this was a great advancement i mean well but let's talk about this kanye is a better dresser he has right. better style right, 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 he's right. you know he has better clothing the brand of kanye. you know what i'm saying how he presents himself is better you know what i'm saying than than those two what we got next though 
All right, next we're gonna do. We got something for the ladies. We got something for the ladies. Let's do something ladies. for the ladies. Yeah. We got ladies in the chat. What's up, ladies? Yeah, my hey. Name is Susie. Susie. Hey. Hey. And okay. Beyonce. Okay, 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 okay. Ivy, Ivy Park versus. Baby Let's Park. go. What you think here? Mm. So uh, hit the baby fat was a moment because I feel like baby fat was legitimately for everybody. Everybody. And everyone could get it. Yeah, exactly. Except for us. Um, <laughs> I was about to say something inappropriate. This is a family show. Yeah, it is. Um, so what I was what I was about to say was even back then mm-hmm. when it came to hyped things, yep. you could get things. I mean, especially baby fat. You could get baby fat. For it example. was it was readily available. Right. Mm-hmm. Whereas Ivy Park, it sells out very fast. Mm-hmm. Like in Chicago, you go to the Nike, the Adidas store, and yep. off you know Wicker Park, you yep. can still see some stuff. But like if you live in Madison, Wisconsin, you're or Hoboken. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Or maybe even Cincinnati, Ohio. So it's yep. just like I think um baby fat I might pick I might take baby fat cuz every baby fat was truly it was a vibe. I mean, I, f- I feel like a lot of chicks had until it became like kind of ratchet, but I even still up until that point I feel like baby fat had more of an impact than Ivy Park. Ivy Park is kind of like it has flashes and then, like, mm-hmm. the, the rollout is cool. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it's kind of like we forget about it a little bit. Was Baby Fat the first of its kind? I mean, we're, we're guys, so we, we might not be the experts. But Baby I Fat. Like it was. I'm trying to think of female, like, music merch. I don't re- at me, that's at I, scale. I, I thought about this. I don't think, no, I don't think there has been anything as impactful as Baby Fat before that. Right. At scale for women, I don't think so. I don't either. think so. Like, in, in like, urban clothing, I don't think so. Apple bottom jeans. That, that came after. after, right? Yeah. yeah, but that was Nelly too. Like, yeah, I'm still taking Fat Farm, which is baby fat. Right. Kamora right, Lee right, Simmons. Right, 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 right. For those of yeah. you all don't know, Russell Simmons' ex-wife. Uh, I'm taking that. I'm looking at the chat too. It looks like Edgar had Nike SB, an LMS shirt, a Zune, and Nokia brick. I fuck with that. Shout out to Zunes. Shout out to Zunes. Shout out to Nokia. Nokia, bro, mm-hmm. you could run a Nokia phone over and still, let me go it and use It would still my work. Phone. You probably have cancer, Edgar. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> those go phones get, are large, hey, bro. But he, has, but he had Snake on the phone. <laughs> right. And he has service. He said and he might have cancer. Alex, That's Alex, white Air Force Ones, respect, gray Sean John sweats, black North Face fleece, and a T-Mobile... Sidekick, you know what? Again, for the folks of y'all that are watching that don't know how important sidekicks oh were, oh my god, oh my god, it was a thing like before texting was what it is. Full ke- having a full kicks? keyboard was oh like, my oh my god, I'm in my god. bag. I'm in my bag. Do you I'm remember? In- all right, so there, there was a couple, I feel like, pivotal phones that came out mm-hmm. that were like. Oh my god, sidekick. Yep. yep. Also, the Razor. Remember the Razor came out. The Trio. Oh God! Palm Trio. Yes. Yeah. I had a BlackBerry. BlackBerry, bro. I was a little BlackBerry with the full joints. Oh, my BBM. BlackBerry pen. My BlackBerry pen was six B five S N Y. That's ridiculous. I'll never forget my BlackBerry pen ever if because you know that is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was just like a thing. You know what I'm saying? BlackBerry pens, BBM. I had like a. I think I had like a Windows phone with a full keyboard. I had like Excel on my cell phone as like you a, would. a 13 year old. You were like, trying to like code something. <laughs> <to get> you. <laughs> no, no. I didn't even know what Excel was. Like, what, do I, what do I need Excel for? And it was probably slow as shit, but shout out to cell phones. Shout out to cell phones. Shout out, do you have any more of these? Um, let's talk Let's talk about the sale one last time. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's Again. talk about Danny Swag. Okay. Oh, I'll yeah. talk about the sale. You talk about your swag. Okay? Up, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so for the sale, <laughs> folks, we have. Uh, Nike Blazers we're selling today. <laughs> Why these are important is because they're one of the first Nike basketball shoes. So, like, we know Jordan, we know LeBron, we know KDs, Kyrie's. Um, the the gr- the grandfather of that is the Blazer. You know, the Blazer came out in 1977. It's a standard flat bottom shoe. You know, quite a bit more uh, engineered than like a Chuck Taylor, right? So, it's one of those things that has the OGs had the suede toe cap. Uh, the double sole, um, and you know you can get them in nylon or leather. For me personally, I love the Blazer because it's one of those shoes like, you know, for the skate culture, it's a great skate shoe, right? Uh, for the basketball culture, it's one of those things like a knock around shoe. But I, I just think it's like a fresh, like a fresh piece. So, and again, they're available right now, fifteen percent off. Do you condone Danny 
wearing. So let me give you the backstory of this fit. Let's hear. This is this so this is senior year prom. <laughs> okay, let's see it. In in the suburbs of Jacksonville, mm. Florida. You look you look cold, G. Um so I went to prom my ju- me junior year as well. I had mm-hmm. a date. So this year, you know, I'm um one of few black male, male in this in the school. A <laughs> little bit of racism, a little bit of like I don't I, I don't want to like just take anybody else to prom and I was very broke too. Yep. So like I don't I can't afford to take like a Anyways, yeah, let's go. So I'm like, all right, cool. So, so I'm going by myself at this point. Okay. So now you I'm look like, fresh. So, so I'm like, I, now I got to get fresh. I had already bought the suit, and, and as you can see, the pants were extremely boot cut. But, I, but as, at that point, it's 2010. I'm good. Can we pause real quick? Yeah. 2010 would have been still that NBA lottery draft yeah, exactly. era. So, right. You had the whole NBA, Carmelo, <laughs> LeBron, yeah, KD aesthetic. With your drip. There were at least three buttons, if not 14, on that suit. What size were the pants, though? Anywhere from 34 to 39. Let's go. What do you wear right now, though? 34. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm probably 40 pounds heavy. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, so let's just keep that, all this in different perspective. Yep. So anyway, so I'm like, all right, I'm going by, going by myself. I'm already already signed to college. I, and I'm getting scholar, full ride scholarships to college. It is what it is. Y'all can kiss my ass. So, I, all right, but I got my suit. I got this vision, like I'm gonna mm-hmm. just I'm gonna just go off. Like this is a time like to look to do something different. Do your thing, G. So I said, boom, I'm gonna wear sneakers of prom. So I go to I think it was like a finish line or something in Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what sneakers am I gonna wear? People people have been wearing like chucks a little bit to right. to, to prom, but mm-hmm. that's not enough. I need something a little bit more sauce. I need to I need to put my foot on their neck. So I saw these all red, cherry red blazers. Suwoo joints. <laughs> I said, you know what? These the one. Me and my mom, I said, these the one. These the ones. I said, I'm this is, I'm gonna kill him with this I'm one. Kill him with this. I'm from Cincinnati. Yep. And I'm gonna kill him with I'm the red with joint. The red joint, yeah. So then I said, I now I need my Cincinnati fitted. I'm from Cincinnati. Yeah. I'm in Jacksonville. Yep. I went to Lids. Yeah. Uh, why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? Got mm-hmm. me the nice little seven three seven and three, four, something like that. Yep. Five five eights, maybe, depending on the size of my head at that time. Then I got the the bow tie after that and the fake glasses because why not? Why wouldn't you? At that point, the Travis Porter, that whole little like whole geeky John. like you know mini T uh, vibe was on. So yeah. that was the whole fit, and I went by myself, <laughs> and I was I was a part of the cool like prom group. Yeah, that I'll never forget them. Uh, moms and that prom group were terrified. Like, who oh, God is this? Who is this young man with our yeah. people? You know, it was I a didn't fit, I though. didn't wear sneakers at prom. But uh, I I love I love blazers. You know I I think it's like uh, like I said we're we're talking about blazers tonight as being a basketball shoe. It's more of a lifestyle shoe at this point. Right. I think um, a lot of people have them. They skate in them. It's kind of a casual thing. What I've been seeing in the shop a lot recently is a lot of like uh, you know women mm-hmm. love blazers. They like the aesthetic. They like to be in a high top. They like it being canvas. So it's a, it's a fresh little joint that's, th- that's still the test of time. I mean, if we think about it, what? We're talking 40 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Over 40 years right, ago, over. the shoe still is like one that they make. So, I mean, shout out to Nike. And it'll be interesting to see. We talk about this every episode, how shoes become <laughs> more and more popular. I mean, they're how much are they are typically MSRP on Nike? 100. Right. right. Who, dunks. I mean, dunks are still kind of cheap now, but... Mm-hmm. MSR people who really gets them at that price right. anymore. Um, so it'd be interesting to see a few more of these collabs where where dunks go. So mm-hmm. if you didn't, if you knew, no one else told you, get your get your uh, your these some of these silhouettes now because they're only going to go up in value and cool. in relevance. Cool. Anything anything that we cop this week? Or yeah, I mean this week that I cop anything just ship for the shop. Yeah, I bought a ton of Junior Watanabe. Shout out to Junior, studying under Ray. Uh, I copped a bunch of uh, North Face. We got a bunch of North Face in yeah. the shop now. A bunch of vintage North Face shoe wise. A bunch of actually, we got a bunch of early two thousand stuff. So Air Force Ones, nice from the early two thousands. A bunch of Dunks from the early two thousands, and we have a bunch of SBs, newer SBs that are coming to the shop this week. Fire. 
Mm-hmm. What I think I might have mentioned this last episode. I got a Stussy um bubble mm-hmm. pullover. Mm-hmm. And I got those J. Cole Puma Air Dreamers. Mm-hmm. They're on sale. The the other ones dropped. The yellow ones just dropped. So I got the ones that came out early last year or maybe like early this year or early twenty twenty. High top all white mm-hmm. Air Dreamers. Fire. I I'm interested to see what Puma does. Um, these next couple of years. I mean, they they like Puma has hired. We don't talk about Puma enough, right. but Puma over the past twenty four months has hired all black influencers. Really, Jay Z, yeah, Beyonce, yeah. J Cole, right? And it's funny because Beyonce has to deal with Adidas and Puma. Yeah, how you finesse that? How Jay Z has to deal with Puma. He's married to Beyonce. She has both. J Cole has Puma. You know, uh, Dame Dash has Puma. You know, uh, doesn't, uh, what's, uh, what's dude, the basketball player from the, uh, Kuzma. Yeah, he has Puma. Kuzma. Kuzma. Kyle we Kuzma got has a couple guys. We have a question. What are your thoughts on the Snap-on Nikes for disabil- okay. people with disabilities? My hot take on those. I love the fact that Nike is making accessible clothing for people that need that. Forward thinking, right? People with disabilities, I think, is an underrepresented group. Yeah. There has to be. I don't know the percentage, so bear with me if anyone is a person with disabilities or has a person in their family. I'm assuming the percentage of people is high to where they would need that to for them to make it. But just, like, in general, creating, like, functional, comfortable stuff, I love it. Especially that looks good. I mean, the shoe looks good. Mm-hmm. It's not an ugly shoe. Not at all. Um, you think of, like, an old-school Velcro shoe that your grandpa has on. Mm-hmm. If if my grandpa can, if my grandparents could wear something like mm-hmm. that, that's a little bit more fly. Mm-hmm. That'd be a cool little birthday or Christmas gift. So the only thing I would, the only thing I would challenge on those is the hinge, because it's a hinge that makes it snappable when you step your foot into it. Will that stand the test of time? I don't know. Yeah. Someone we'll said, see. "What happens if they, if someone steps on the back of your, back on of the back foot. of your foot?" You go flying. Yeah, you're going to be raw-footed. On the it's shoe. just like anything. I mean, if someone says on the back of your shoe, regardless, you're going to be salty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. going to be a problem. It's, you know. But that might be catastrophic. Catastrophic. If someone steps on their shoe. That's shoes, an SAT word, like, gay. Mm, it is. It's a synonym for bad. <laughs> <laughs> synonym. Is it, right, we got two minutes left. That's what we got. Minutes. So, you know? chat. Chat, look. We have something to give away to y'all. Uh, for the folks in the chat, we have... A crystal head vodka pack I can send to you, um, available to you. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, and we also have a the pop-up sticker pack. So what I would say is, uh, for those of you that are participating, I think Alex, who else has been participating? My Edgar. Friend? Edgar. Kyle. Edgar, Kyle, and Alex. And Amanda. And Amanda. The four of you, Edgar, Kyle, and Amanda, and Alex, send a direct message to us on Instagram with your contact information, and I will send all the four of you uh, a gift pack from us, from Danny, Gabe, and myself, Malik as well, uh, a sticker pack for the pop up, and uh, Crystal Head Vodka merch. So Show I'll the sticker. Show the sticker. Uh, I have one on my computer right now, a new one. I have. There's two other ones. I'll send. You'll get all three. We have three new stickers that have come out this week. Usually it's for people that cop in store, but we're going to take care of you just for showing up. We appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Great friends. Great cousins. This mm-hmm. has been a fantastic episode of the Pop-Up yeah. TV. Follow us at thepopup.com mm-hmm. on Instagram. Follow and me. and follow Sellers. You know, Danny, comedian here in Chicago, he's doing his thing. Great addition to the show. We really appreciate him. Gabe Coulier, like, you know, he's the one that runs all the behind-the-scenes stuff for us here at the Pop-Up and makes it work so we appreciate you uh, mixed prints is his business um yeah so we're out here every other week trying to make this work if you have feedback concerns Woo! comments Woo! let's go Woo! let us know we'll make it work and then we'll go from there like subscribe give us all your money we appreciate thank you, you. For listening. thank you peace we'll be back two weeks from now Day and night, I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind. I look for peace, but see, I don't attain. What I need for keeps this silly game we play. play. Now look at this, man,
It's the magnet keeps attracting me. me. I try to run, but see, I'm not that fast. I think the first, but surely finish last. Last. This day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night. At, at, at night. Day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. Stoner, Mr. Solo Dolo. He's on the move, can't seem to shake.